Welcome back to the news tonight. Well, mystery still shrouds the newly erected landmark of Chennai after a minor blast took place there last evening. The Kotarpuram police have registered a case and interrogated nearly 100 construction workers so far but are yet to crack this case. A detailed probe is underway to ascertain how the explosives reached the building and Salim has more on this report. The police described the minor blast as an accident but sniffer dogs were brought in to rule out any serious risks. Detonators that were not needed to be there went off on an unfinished floor of the Anna Centenary Library in Kotarpuram. The incident occurred away from the sections that had been open to the public. The floor la welding was going on. Welding was going on. It 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 was going on. The police say they were trying to find out why the detonators were there and who brought them. It has also been found that there was no need for the devices to be there. The library inaugurated last month is said to be one of Asia's modern and largest facilities named after former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Anna Durai, to mark his birth centenary. In Chennai, Salim for NDTV Hindu. Well, the ruling government is now under pressure after political parties intervene in the power struggle at the Navy Lignite Corporation. It's been 14 days since 13,000 contract workers have been striking, demanding permanent employment and higher wages. While the fear of power disruption still looms large, the CPI and PMK are demanding for another round of talks to be bring an end to this ongoing struggle. Talks are scheduled to arrive at a consensus starting later today. And several talks until now have failed and the workers are disappointed with the NLC management and refuse their offer to hike their salaries after a month. The contract workers staged a rail and road roco yesterday where the police restored to a mild lati charge, taking around 1,000 workers into custody and they were released soon after. Well, the political war now transcends onto a different medium. A cyber war of sorts is on between the Congress and the BJP and if you type bjp.com you will get surprising results. The web page will automatically take you to the All India Congress Committee's official site. An old company, the Bharat Janata Prakashan, was the owner of bjp.com before BJP went cyber. A few months ago it appears the domain was brought by someone who auto-directed to it to aicc.com. The BJP now has served a legal notice to the Congress. Well, from Sarkar to the little child Oro, he now becomes the angry young man as a cartoon. More on that in just a moment. 